the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks I got the oxidized green Jordan 4 scheduled to release Saturday, June 15th Initially these weren't supposed to come out until July 13th But they recently just got pulled up nearly an entire month to June 15th I don't know why, but they did. But as usual, we're going to take a close to each other look at the shoe from all angles. I'm going to put these on and step around them, see how they look on feet. After that, I'll share my opinion on the shoe, and then I'll talk about release predictions, reselling predictions, and all that stuff. So let's get right to it. Leather on these is pretty good. You know, it's nothing crazy, but... It's... Pretty nice. I'm definitely getting a Philadelphia Eagles vibe from these. You know, with the colors. The oxidized green on the midsole has a glittery, slightly glossy covering, which is a good look on these if you ask me. Looks fire. Kind of looks dark from this angle, but if I hold them up like this, you can see the light bounce off them a little better. You can see the shine more. And the same thing is over here on the eyelets. So the eyelets have these little black streaks on them. When I first saw these, I thought my shit was like scratched or something. I didn't know what was going on. But then I looked at the other eyelet on both sides on both shoes. And I realized it was just the way they were made. I don't know what that's about, but it didn't look bad. So no complaints for me. And there's more green under here under the netting. But no glitter or gloss on it. It's just mesh. I don't think I can say this about any other sneaker, but for some odd reason, I feel like these low-key look better from this inner side than they do from the sides that we just looked at. And usually it's a no-brainer, like, I would prefer the outer side more than the inner side, but, like, I don't know. On these, I'm really feeling this inner side of the shoe better, and I really think it has something to do with this, which still doesn't really make sense to me because all fours got this on this side, and... You know, this on the other side, I think maybe because there's like low key too much white over here and then you got like a longer strip of uh, green and sail. So maybe that's it. But yeah, thing is the first time I actually prefer the way the inner side of a shoe looks over the outer. Like, am I the only one that feels this way or does somebody else feel me on that? Translucent Jumpman back here. Something you don't really see a lot on Jordan 4s anymore, but looks nice here. You know, the way that the midsole and the eyelets are set up with this glittery, glossy topping, I kind of figured the drum man on the back was going to be like that, but I'm glad they did it like this because I think it looks better. That was a pleasant surprise. Interior is nice and polyester-like, all green, and the insoles have white logos. Here's the outsole. Some really light gray. Green and white. Box on these is fire. It's really uh, what's on the midsole all around. Even down here on the bottom, it's nice. Folding lid, all green in here. You got the splatter style paper with the extra little white sheet under. And here's the box label. Air Jordan 4 Retro in white and oxidized green. Here's a quick all around view of the shoe. All right, now let's see how they look on feet. Ain't got no kids, but on Father's Day, she give me a gift. She fucking with a bag flipper. Get into it way quicker than your last nigga. Get into it fast. Really in a different class, nigga. I came dolo, but I end up going back with her. I just wanna stack paper, get it fast with you. I keep it coming like I can't manage to last with her. <laughs> you fucking with a bag flipper. Get into it way quicker than your last nigga. 
there's a couple things I like about these. First thing is the color. Not necessarily the shade. The shade's pretty regular. It's really the way it shines. I've definitely complained about them putting glitter on certain other releases, but the way it was used on these is actually perfect. Another thing I really like is how they did the Jumpman on the back. It's a little taste of nostalgia for me, and it looks really nice. The box is nice and sexy, so they got a couple things going for them. But overall, it's not a good-looking enough shoe for me to really want. I don't know. They're kind of just like a little boring to me. I kind of want to say it's too much white. Like, not necessarily, because then I look at the shoe, and it's just like there is a pretty good amount of green. You know, you got the green all the way around here. You got it on the back. You got it here under the netting on the eyelets, all in the sock line of the back of the tongue. Like, so I can't really say it's too much white, but I think what it is, is I know this part right here is gray, but it's so light that, you know, at first glance, it looks white. So I feel like if this part was green, they'd probably be a little bit better. And you know, the thing is, it's like still from this front view, even with the too much white on the toe, it still looks nice from the front, I'd say. You know, I think with the eyelets and the tongue and everything, and then you see part of this part, like there's enough green here. But it's just, this part is mad white, and then I think when you combine that with this, they kind of almost remind me, like, of a green version of the alternate 89, the white and red fours. I didn't really like those either. But yeah, that's just how I feel about them. Leave me a comment and let me know what your opinion is. I know earlier I mentioned these being Philadelphia Eagles colors, and I'm realizing what really made me say that was the way these, like, shine on the green parts. Like, you know, it shines like a football helmet does. So these are perfect for any Eagles fans. Not just you'll be walking around wearing a helmet. I mean... <laughs> Maybe some people will. I know how hard some fans go, but they'll still go well with a jersey or any other apparel. These remind me of the classic green fours and the metallic green fours a little bit. And it's funny, I was saying there's too much white on these, but those really got a lot of white on them compared to green. Now, honestly, I think that's why they remind me of them. All three are white and green fours with too much white. For those of you who don't know, there's also a pair of oxidized green 14s that came out in 1999. They retroed in 2016. One of the more low-key OG 14 colorways. They really fall under the radar. Honestly, I forget about those and the indigo sometimes. And I know a lot of people probably don't even know about them. But yeah, I'm assuming those are what inspired these. Or I mean, like, you know, the color at least. If you're wondering where the oxidized green is on the 14s, because I know, like, just from this view, it kind of just looks like a black and white shoe. You can actually start to see a little bit, like, down towards the middle of the midsole. But if you look here at the outsole, you can see it a lot better. They just have the glittery topping on it like these. Do. I don't know if it's coincidental or if Jordan's on some chemistry shit right now, but they just gave us vivid sulfur fours a few months ago. And now we're getting oxidized green fours. For those of you who didn't know, oxidized means to be, like, combined with oxygen. If you saw my vivid sulfur fours review, I explain why they are the color they are, you know, like in connection with the name. But for these, like, I don't know what oxygen has to do with the color green. Please excuse my ignorance. I'm, I'm no chemist or anything. I did take chemistry class in high school, but I'm sure there's a scientific explanation as to how oxygen corresponds with the color green. There's got to be something where you expose something to oxygen and it turns this green. Like, there ain't no way they just picked the random green and just said this is going to be oxidized. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like they wouldn't name them that without it having something. They could have picked any color. You know what I mean? Like, and they couldn't pick any name. These could have been mad different shit. There's, there's got to be some kind of scientific explanation behind it so if anybody knows please feel free to leave a comment and explain so surprisingly i think these are going to be an easy cop and the reason i say surprisingly is because they're jordan fours as i'm sure y'all know jordan fours have been the hottest selling jordan silhouette for the past couple years now but these just don't seem to happen which kind of raises an eyebrow because you guys have heard me say in other videos that jordan fours replaced jordan ones as far as being the most hyped jordan silhouette and they did but as of recent they just haven't really been i don't know it just seems like the hype died down just a little bit not completely like they're still the hottest selling jordan silhouette but like just just in comparison to the way ones did you got these that i'm gonna get into what i think they're gonna resell for in a minute and stuff but like you got these that i don't really see any demand for military blue fours just dropped this is an og colorway with the nike air on the back for the first time since the original release and yes they made like a zillion pairs so i know that has a lot to do with it but even with them making all those pairs like the fact that military fours don't resell for that much over retail and it's an og colorway and don't get me wrong i know there was quality issues and stuff like that but i'm just thinking if this was a Jordan 1. I'm comparing the Jordan 4 hype to the Jordan 1's hype, you know, a couple years back. If this was a Jordan 1, just imagine like this is the 1's era, you know, like sometime between like 2018 and like 2021, let's say. If they would have released an OG colorway for the first time since the OG, they could have made 5 billion pairs. They could have did horrible quality on them and best believe them shits would have been reselling for... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like five, six hundred easily. They would have been insanely hyped, crazy resale prices. Like y'all know that. So to see military fours drop and just what are they reselling at? Like two forty right now, two fifty. Like fours right now, it almost seems like they start to decline with hype, and, and it may just be like a little phase. You know, it may kick back up, or it may just switch over to another shoe. I don't know. They might have replaced the ones, but they ain't really replaced them. You know what I mean? Like it's their time now, but their time ain't nothing like the ones. It's kind of like I hate to get into this, but it's almost like LeBron and Jordan. Like Jordan is like the ones you know what i mean lebron is like the fours it's like you might be the most accomplished player in the league right now you know what i mean like you might be like the player of this generation or this past generation whatever you want to call it but like he ain't michael 
You know what I mean? And I'm not even trying to say nothing about the fours. I like fours better than ones if you want to go there. But like, just as far as like the hype and stuff. And then also, there's even certain other Jordan fours that declined in price a little bit over the past like year or so. Like I'll say like Lightness, for example. Lightness, I remember pairs was like three, 320, something like that. Now you can get Lightning fours for like definitely under 300. You know what I mean? Like 260, 270, maybe even 250. And those retail at 220. So it's just like, we in the fours ever, I guess you can call it. And you got a pair like that classic colorway reselling for what 30 40 maybe 50 over retail that was never happening with ones the ones during the ones ever like i always say the bullshit colorways was reselling for double retail 100 over retail 150 over retail like the ones era was different like i don't know if we ever gonna see anything like that again like with hype on a shoot but like yeah i don't know if the fours are declining or like i said if this is just a bad time let's not trash them right away but um is it time for a new like sneaker to take over like and if so what shoe is that gonna be i always think about it sometimes i'll be thinking like maybe it's the threes i feel like at some point in time like jordan threes might get real hype but we'll see what happens with that i didn't mean to get so off topic but yeah so if you're looking to cop these should be an easy cop if you're a reseller i would not get into these might be a good hold but i wouldn't even do it just to pay that 215 and sit on them like there's just so many other shoes that i feel like just have a much better chance of kicking up in value like i, I would just skip out on these all together if you're not copping them for yourself i know i've been saying that about a lot of pairs lately and it's crazy i'm saying that about a pair of fours but part of me wants to say you can't go wrong and like if there's no demand on them they'll go up but like i don't know she's getting kind of scary right now and i'm a little hesitant to say this because they're fours but i'm probably gonna be right you may be able to get these under retail the retail on these is 215 215 is kind of heavy when it's the shoe you want like me i wanted the military four so bad like that 215 was nothing i'm like nah take the 215 but like for a shoe that you kind of on the fence about you like damn 215's kind of crazy and i feel like a lot of people are going to look at these like in that way but yeah if this video is helpful and formal in any way i really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in more early reviews like this or any other sneak related content please do us both a favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already once you're subscribed make sure you tap that little bell icon where the subscribe button was hit that little drop down arrow and select all that way when i put a new video out you'll get notified and you won't miss out on anything thank you all for watching everybody please stay safe and out there and i'll see you next time